How you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, see, folks, I'm playing for you. Series videos I've been doing for the while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't intending to review this one. I, I had another item in mind, but uh, we'll get to that. Anyway, folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to talk about it for a while. That's how this whole thing goes. It's, you know, I, I'm going to talk about other stuff. There's going to be, you know, my personal opinions. I'm going to try to kind of round it out for, like, other people. And, you know, it's, it's, it's multifaceted. That's what we do here on the sampler platter. But anyway, whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm inside my truck, I'm doing something else. I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my Wargasm shirt. Wargasm. It's the name of two bands, by the way. Uh, one, I believe, is from Massachusetts and hasn't done a lot in a long time, I don't think. Uh, that's not the one that this is for. No, this is for a uh, UK band. Uh, they're a duo, kind of electronic, sort of... I don't know, they kind of tag themselves in the new metal genre to a certain extent. They definitely do have certain elements. Um, I saw these guys perform a few weeks back at the time I'm doing this. I really love their set. Incredible energy. Love their music. And as soon as it was over, went out, got a shirt, went out, got one of their CDs. Because, yes, I still buy CDs, folks. I'm that guy. I'm not willing to be a record collector guy, but I will still collect CDs, damn it. But anyway, they're really good. I actually have some videos from their performance on this channel, just in case you're interested. What am I going over there and trying for y'all today? Well, folks, uh, as I was going over there and doing that, a couple of people walked by and they clearly saw that I was doing something and went over there and gave me a weird look. No, it's fine. I don't give a shit. You can keep walking. Anyway... What am I reviewing for y'all? Why is it not the item I wanted to review? Well, folks, I just got through reviewing a burger from uh, Smash Burgers, which was specifically the Double Classic Smash Burger, like their, their basic kind of... And I was intending to go over there and do their Smack and Cheese Burger. I was totally down for that. It was on the menu and everything, because I'd, I'd heard about it. And they, even though it was on the menu, they're like, sorry, we don't have it anymore. I was like, mm, rats. So instead, we're going for a runner-up. Boom! It's another burger from Smash Brothers, or Smash Burgers. Specifically, this is the... B -b 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 -b. It's like the double truffle Swiss and cheese. Like, I'll make sure I put the, the actual thing on it. It consists of two Angus beef patties, aged Swiss, sautéed criminy mushrooms, which I, I'm a mushroom fan. I have no idea what the fuck that is. And truffle mayo on a toasted bun. So... I do love a mushroom and Swiss burger. Even though I'm not that big on Swiss, you put it with mushroom, you melt that shit, I'm down. So let's see how, uh, let's see what uh, Smash, burger, Smash Burger comes up with for me. It's not even, it's all one word. It's not even Smash Burger, it's all one thing. So let's open this up. Man, the way they put these things together is frustrating. I mean, I mean... I mean, mm. all right. Ooh, I definitely got some of the truffle mayo there. So let's give it a go. I mean, the little bit that I'm, in, that I'm tasting so far, I'm enjoying. Let's give it a go, folks. I mean, that's a really solid mushroom in Swiss. I like. It's not exactly going over there and breaking the bank or anything, but like, it's a really solid mushroom and Swiss burger. It's doing everything I want a mushroom and Swiss burger to do.
the X Factor is definitely the truffle mayo. It gives it this nice little kind of tangy bite. But because it also has the truffle flavor, and it does like it genuinely has truffle flavor, um, it also gives it kind of this added earthiness, which, you know, kind of sort of plays off what the mushrooms are already giving it. Now, all that said, my point of contention is that I feel like I need more of it because, like, I don't want it to overpower the burger, but I want it to be an essential part of things because that separates it from, like, a, you know, for like a standard uh, Swiss and mushroom burger that I can get from pretty much any place. Um, I mean, it's there, but, like, and it is, it's really flavorful, but, like, I need more of it. That's the thing. Because when I get a nice pocket of it, it really elevates the whole experience. Because without it, it's still good. Like I said, it's a mushroom and Swiss burger. If you've ever had a mushroom and Swiss burger, it tastes a lot like that. But, I will say, beef tastes good. That's Fundamentally, if you're doing a burger, the beef needs to taste good. I don't care what else the fuck you put on it. If the beef doesn't taste good, if the burger isn't still the highlight, then, you know, you've kind of missed the mark. In this case, no, you know, mushroom and Swiss works really well. Hell, when I go to Culver's, that's one of my go-to menu items. Now, is this better than a Culver's burger for, you know, their mushroom and Swiss? Yes. But, I will say, I think Culver's, with the fact that they use, like, the like the butter in their beef and everything like that, it definitely gives their beef a little bit more personality. But the beef on this is perfectly solid. It's just, it's solid in kind of a generic way, if that makes any sense. Like, it tastes like good beef in the way that good beef should taste like. It just doesn't have a lot extra going for it. The mushrooms taste good. Um, you know, they've got decent flavor to them. Not the best flavor I've ever had on a mushroom and Swiss burger. But, you know, they're getting the job done. The Swiss is Swiss. It's, you know, like I said, I don't really like Swiss very much as a cheese. It's not like a thing that I'm really big into. But mushroom and Swiss burger, it just, it works. It plays perfectly. Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, the beef tastes good, the mushrooms are tasty, you know, have a decent amount of flavor, and the Swiss is doing what the Swiss cheese needs to do. It all comes together, works really well, and like I said, the having that truffle mayo, it does elevate it a little bit. Gives it, you know, a couple extra points. My biggest critique, again, is just I wish there was more truffle mayo. I think that would have gone over there. I think that would have really helped cement the overall experience for me. Because it's good. It's a very solid mushroom and Swiss burger. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes. And, uh, yeah. So... I mentioned this in my previous review with uh, the, the double classic burger or whatever the fuck. The only reason why this is really the first time I've ever been to Smashburger is because they kind of fall in a weird spot for me where it's like, they're not like fast food, but they're also not like proper like artisanal burgers. And typically I fall one or the other. I'm probably not going to come to Smashburger anytime soon. Especially because there's so many really good places to eat in the immediate area where this one is located. But, if I did, I could get this again. I could get this again gladly. I think both the burgers I've had from Smash, from Smash Burger have been really solid. They've definitely showcased the fact that they're 
higher quality than standard uh, fast food. And, you know, they're, they're doing it right. Like, full on. They're doing it right. I don't have any real complaints with what they're doing. The price is a bit much, especially since you don't get a side. But, you know... And as for other people, I mean, if you enjoy a Mushroom and Swiss Burger, this is a good Mushroom and Swiss Burger. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's, it's you know, it's on the upper end of things, I would say. Um, you know, and if, you're, if you've never had a Mushroom and Swiss Burger, be adventurous. Give it a shot. Some people don't like mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you probably wouldn't like this very much. But eh. anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Money, mentors, month, stupendous rest of your year. And folks, you go in there and have yourselves a truly mushroom and Swiss-tastic rest of your life. Because I don't give a damn, folks. I love mushrooms and Swiss. It's good. It's a good combination. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But... We do can't do all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always easy to not be an asshole. Okay? Like, even though it's kind of like a minimum requirement for, like, society to work, man, is it not always an easy thing to do. There's just times when, you know, life kicks you in the head, man, and it's like, you know, you get frustrated, you get pissed off, and, you know, you just want to drop trout, show your asshole to the universe. It happens. But it's important when it does... Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you've never had a delicious mushroom and Swiss burger. Maybe you're going to go over there, and it's a weird thing to think about, and it's nothing I would do because, like, I'm not going to do that. This would be a really good spot to people watch. <laughs> Like, there's, like, all these different, like, restaurants right in the area and everything, and, like, there's just all these really interesting-looking people walking by. And I don't mean that, like, in a, you know, in a mean way or anything like that. You know, just, you know, just interesting-looking folks, you know, just good-looking people going to get some food. There's a smash burger, there's a sushi place, there's a Middle Eastern grill, there's a barbecue, there's a pizza place, and I think a breakfast place? I don't know. But anyway, something, 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 uh... Try out a mushroom and Swiss burger, and maybe it'll go over there, and it'll turn out that it will transport you to some sort of crazy dimension, and then you'll go over there, and you'll be the chosen one, this, that, and the other thing, and, you know, then you come back later on, and you're like, ah! Or conversely, there's lots of good places to eat. Try lots of different places to eat. I wish I had more than one stomach so that I could just go to each one of these. Bye!